All right, third graders, we're gonna make an invention today that completes a really simple task. Something like turning on a light or popping a balloon or making toast. And we're gonna make it up of simple machines. So I'm gonna show you an example right now. Mine will be to fry an egg. So I'm gonna have a refrigerator here. My refrigerator needs to open. That's step one of getting an egg. So you need to break down into steps. If I wanna fry an egg, step one is get an egg. I have a piece of string that's operated, let's say by this pulley here that has a weight on it. So when that pulley goes, the weight, the fridge pops open. So once the fridge is open, I'm gonna make maybe attached to that pulley, a claw hand. And I'm gonna make this have little lines on it to show that it's like a piece of machine, maybe even a couple dots for like screws in it, that go in and grab the egg. Now I'm gonna make some lines here to show the direction of what's happening. So I have this here, so my egg is gonna go over here, the claws changing positions. And I think I want my claw to crack my egg into a bowl. So I'm gonna draw my egg being split here and then the egg coming out into the bowl. Okay, the next step is that I need to get it from the bowl to the pan. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this bowl on a lever and maybe up here, I have trickling water that goes into a cup. And when the water gets heavy enough, it'll shoot the egg and I'm gonna make some arrows. I like to make these arrows to show you the direction that things are going. So my egg is gonna shoot over to here and into a pan. Now I have my egg in a pan and it's ready to be cooked. The next step is to put that egg onto a plate. So I think I'm gonna have maybe this weight here. Once the water fills and shoots, that weight's gonna go down and hit the handle. When the handle hits, my egg is gonna shoot and I'm gonna draw a little egg flying through the air here. <laughs> My egg is gonna land onto my plate. And there you go. It was a really complicated way. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps to get my egg onto my plate. After I'm done with that, I'm gonna use something called a piece of transparency paper. This is transparency paper, it's clear. I'm gonna put it on top of my drawing. If I want to label things before I do that, like different objects in my art, I can do that. And I'm gonna trace it onto that transparency paper. We're going to display these on a window so that people can see our different contraptions that are made out of simple machines. So I'm just going around and I'm getting those lines that I did with the pencil. I'll add color to that after. And I think I want to add a couple labels. So I'm going to write claw right there so people know that that's like a claw hand. I think I'm going to label that to show that it's an egg just in case people can't tell. Because sometimes it's hard to tell from a drawing when somebody's not explaining. And I want people who see this in the hallway to know that that's an egg. Then that glass of water that's drip dripping. then my egg shooting and every now and then I'm gonna turn that into an arrow. I can also add color to this when I pull it off. Here's my pan. And these arrows are really helpful to show the different steps. Sometimes if you don't have arrows, people don't know how these different steps connect and it's hard to tell. So you can see now when I lift it off, I have a drawing of my plan, of my invention. 
And I'm just gonna use some color to highlight a few parts and take it from being just a plan to actually a piece of artwork. So maybe I'll make my claw this orange color. Maybe it's a rainbow refrigerator. Maybe my arrows are all red to draw attention to them. I'm gonna fast forward you here while I work on that step and then I'll show you when I'm done. All right, now that my art is drawn, I'm gonna put it for you on a piece of paper so you can really see. Sometimes it's hard to see on a desk. I'm gonna give you a little frame for it that looks like this. I'll flip yours over and just tape it in so that way when it's in the hallway, people can really see it well. And what I want you to do is to, on your frame, just kind of make some patterns out of simple machines. So maybe I'll draw a picture of a lever right there. Maybe I'll put a weight on this side and then a bigger weight on that side so you can see why it's aiming that way. You have a worksheet that shows you pictures of different simple machines. And maybe I'll make a screw. So I'm just turning those pieces into almost like a pattern. So maybe I'll do an ABC pattern. I'll do lever, screw, pulley. And that's my pulley. So then I'll go back and maybe I'll do this lever different just for fun to make it a little bit different. I'll do one on this side and two on that side to show why it's leaning that way. So up next in my pattern is a screw. And maybe I'll make this one a little bit different and just put one line on top of it. Now I'm gonna make another pulley. And I'm gonna keep working like that until my artwork is complete. All right, now my artwork is done and it's ready for display. I have an invention that I've translated onto transparency paper, and then I designed a frame that has examples of simple machines that are put into patterns.